Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Joshua one eight. Mnaho, everybody! Jumbo, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Bum 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 Musical English. Today we're talking about my favorite musicals. Wicked, and the song that we're talking about is a classic. It's called Defying Gravity. We're gonna learn some English terms, phrases, vocabularies in this song. So stay tuned. So first, let's talk about the show. Wicked, the musical Wicked, my favorite, is a behind-the-scenes tale about the Wizard of Oz. It tells the backstory of the Wicked Witch of the West, also known as Elphaba. Elphaba becomes friends with the Good Witch, known as Glinda. It has music and lyrics by Stephen Schwartz, and is based on the 1995 Gregory Maguire novel called Wicked: The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West, which is also a retelling of the classic 1900 novel The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum and the 1939 original Wizard of Oz movie. Also, don't forget to meditate on today's verse, Joshua 1:8. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Let's try to think about this Bible verse as we keep on learning today. Do not let this book of law depart from your mouth. Meditate it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Joshua one eight. So, what does this verse make you feel? This verse is like a guideline. It's like God gave Joshua something that you're supposed to do for you are for you to become prosperous. You can be doing very well. You are really good at something you are doing, but just because you have let the word of God away from you, even if you succeed, even if you prosper, but it's going to be for a short time. But for it to become a long term or in a very big way, you have to involve God's word in you. How can this verse be an inspiration to you or everybody? Everybody. Yeah. Actually, here the book of law they're talking about is the commandments of God, and the commandment of God. Actually, the biggest thing here is love.、Mm. If you love God, you will love your neighbor automatically. If you love your neighbor, you won't steal from them. You won't kill them. So all the book of law is written in one thing: love. So the inspiration here is just loving, like love beyond love to forgive. You 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 are you are able to forgive that person, even if they wrong you. In what extent? Like just of how God. Imagine how many times do we wrong God? <laughs> you know. Actually, sometimes I sit and say, "But God, I'm really very shameful again. Today again, I'm here." You know. But God has always give us another chance. Has always forgive us. So that's what the book is wanting us to do. And not only during the day when people are seeing you, the Bible is saying even at the night. Nobody. Nobody is seeing you. You should be able to keep this word of God, and this one is how it's going to help you. Like it's like a guideline. When you feel like oh you are going, it's removing you, it's putting you in shape, you know, yeah, yeah. and molding you to become what really God created you to be. All right. So what did this verse make you feel? 하나님 말씀이신 성경대로 결국 사는 것이 결과적으로 가장 평안하고 잘 들게 하는 일이구나 이 말씀을 통해서 또 알게 되었습니다. Then how do you think this verse can relate to Wicked, the musical? 아, uh, Wicked은 진짜 너무 좋아하는 작품인데요. Uh, 주인공인 엘파바 있잖아요. 엘파바 mm-hmm. 굉장히 정의롭고 어, 자신의 신념 과 철, 철학이 굉장히 뿌듯한 인물이에요. 그런 거를 어떠한 압박이나 주변 환경에 굴하지 않고 어, 하나님의 신념대로, 어, 하나님의 성경적인 말씀대로 어, 나아가는 주인공 연기했으면 좋겠습니다. Moving on to the song, Defying Gravity. 
The song Defying Gravity is a powerful number that Elphaba sings when she first flies with her magic powers. But ironically, this is when she hits her lowest point. She is at a point where she feels that everybody is against her and that she is all alone and misunderstood in this world. She sings this song as a way to empower herself and to leave the judgmental society behind by declaring that she will defy gravity and that nobody can bring her down. It's such a powerful song. Also, by the way, we're referring to the Idina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth version of the song, so I recommend that you take a listen to this version on YouTube. Moving on, let's talk about some phrases and expressions in the lyrics. The first one, to be through with something. I'm through with blank. I'm through with you. Through with blank. This means finished with, done with. Okay, when you're finished with something, you're through with something. Got it? In the lyrics, Alphaba sings, I'm through accepting limits because someone says they're so. She also sings, I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. That means I'm done with playing by the rules of other people's games. I'm done. Another example of through with something is, I'm through with her. I've, I'm so done with trying to be friends with someone when she's so mean to me. I'm so done with trying to be friends with her when she's so mean to me. That means I'm through. I'm done with her. All right. The second expression we're learning today is second guess. Second guess. What does it mean to second guess something? When you second guess something, that means you guess or predict something. But it also means that you are rethinking something or contemplating about something again. You're rethinking it. Second guess. So in the lyrics, Alphabet sings, too late for second guessing. It's too late for that. It already happened because you're rethinking something after it happened. Another example would be, Eric second-guessed the soccer game's outcome by guessing his team was going to win. In this case, we're using the predict definition of second-guess. It means you're guessing or predicting something. So in this sentence, he's guessing who would win the soccer game. The third expression we're learning is at a cost. At a cost. This is a phrase used for saying that it may not have been worth doing something because so much has been lost or damaged as a result. When something is at a cost, you're kind of paying the price in a bad way. You're losing something. So in the lyrics, it goes like this. Well, if that's love, it comes at much too high of a cost. And she's talking about bad love here. That's why. Another example would be, Selena got the job, but at a cost, because she now has no time for her hobbies on the weekends. This means that she got the job, but it came at a cost, because now she has no time. That means she had to pay the price by giving up her weekend time in order to get the job. All right, moving on to vocabulary. The first vocabulary word we're learning today is leap. Leap, L-E-A-P. It means to jump into the air or it means to move quickly, suddenly. So, in the lyrics it says, it's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes and leap. It means to jump. Another vocabulary word is delusion. Delusion. This means an idea or belief that is not true. So if you are delusional, you're thinking of something, you're imagining something that's not true, that did not happen. So in the lyrics it says, can't I make you understand? You're having delusions of grandeur. You're having delusions. You're imagining things. The third vocabulary word is bliss. B-L-I-S-S. Bliss. And this means complete happiness. When you're in full bliss, that means you're in complete happy mode. And in the lyrics, it says, I hope it brings you bliss. I hope it brings you happiness, is what it means. The fourth word we're learning today is mourn. M-O-U-R-N. 
mourn, and this means to feel extremely sad because someone has passed away, someone has died. And in the lyrics, it says, no one mourns the wicked, which means no one is sad about a wicked person, a wicked person dying. No one mourns the wicked. All right, we learned some phrases, we learned some terms. It's time for a pop quiz. First pop quiz question. Fill in the blank. People gathered at the funeral to blank the death of their beloved friend. People gathered at the funeral to blank the death of their beloved friend. What goes in the blank? If you guess the word mourn, M-O-U-R-N, you are correct. People gathered at the funeral to mourn the death of their beloved friend. To be sad because someone has died. Good job. The second question is also a fill in the blank. Fill in the blank with a phrase. I decided to move to France, but now I am blank because... I don't want to move. I decided to move to France, but now I am blank my decision because I don't want to move. I decided to move to France, but now I am blank my decision because I don't want to move. What goes in the blank? The answer is second guessing. I am rethinking it. I decided to move to France, but now I am second guessing my decision because I don't want to move. That means I'm rethinking my decision. Good job. The last question, fill in the blanks using a vocab word. Laying on the beach in this perfect weather with this delicious cold drink during my vacation was complete blank. Laying on the beach in this perfect weather with this delicious cold drink during my vacation was complete blank. What goes in the blank? The answer is bliss. Bliss, complete happiness. Laying on the beach in this perfect weather with this delicious cold drink during my vacation was complete bliss. That makes sense. Well, great job! I hope you learned something today, both about the musical Wicked, my favorite, and the song Defying Gravity, and through this song, I hope you learned some new English terms and expressions. Well, this is the end of this episode, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!